Stroke parameterization is a new technique for computing a planar parameterization aligned with a curve on a 3D surface. Stroke parameterizations are useful for applying procedural texture to 3D surfaces. The width of the parameterization can be interactively controlled. Naive application of planar parameterization techniques will fail for self-intersecting strokes. We duplicate the input topology in the overlap regions to create a one-to-one -one mapping. With this simple technique, we can draw complex vector elements on 3D surfaces. Our algorithm is even fast enough to compute as the stroke is being drawn. Our new algorithm is based on the discrete exponential map, shown first in this clip. However, we produce a more accurate approximation of geodesic normal coordinates, as is visible on the horn in this example. We also compared with constrained conformal parameterization. The result is similar when the stroke is relatively straight. At sharp bends, our method does distort, but it preserves uniform width elsewhere. While the conformal parameterization results in unpredictable changes in shape along the stroke depending on the region that is covered. Using our stroke parameterizations, we can tile a repeating texture along a stroke. Fill a region with a pattern. And create text labels just by rasterizing the text into a texture along the x-axis. On this high-resolution mesh with 3 million triangles, our method is still interactive. Here we create procedural surface displacements along the stroke, like in a 3D sculpting tool. We can also use our stroke parameterizations to snap a user-drawn curve to a nearby geometric feature. We sample a surface curvature image map in the parameter space and then apply the snakes technique from image processing. Since the user provides us with an initial guess and a search radius, this approach can extract very faint features. In this example, we snap the user stroke to the occluding contour from this viewpoint. The calculated image map is displayed on the surface. Here are a few more examples where we interactively extract silhouette curves. 